LXL A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, June 2022, Question 8. A car stops at two sets of traffic lights. Figure 2 shows a graph of the speed of the car, V metres per second, as it travels between the two sets of traffic lights. The car takes T seconds to travel between the two sets of traffic lights. The speed of the car is modelled by the equation V equals 10 minus 0.4T all multiplied by ln t plus 1, where t seconds is the time after the car leaves the first set of traffic lights. According to the model, we need to find the value of capital T. So here's our equation, v equals 10 minus 0.4t times ln t plus 1. We're looking to find t, which we can see from the graph is when the velocity is zero. So at v equals zero, we know from this equation that either the first part, the 10 minus 0.4t, must equal zero, or the second part of it, the ln t plus one, equals zero. Now we know there are two bits on our graph where v is equal to zero. There's the origin, zero, zero, and there's a bit where it goes through t. We can see quite quickly that zero, zero is the bit given by ln of t plus one, because ln of one is equal to zero. So we're gonna look at the other part. We're gonna set 10 minus 0.4t equal to zero. So 0.4t is equal to 10, and t is equal to 25. For part B, we need to show that the maximum speed of the car occurs when t is equal to 26 over one plus ln t plus one minus one. So we're trying to find the maximum. So to do this, we're going to differentiate our formula for v and set it equal to zero. v is the product of two functions of t. So we're going to use the product rule here. So we've got dv by dt is going to be equal to the differential of the first term. So the differential of 10 minus 0.4t is minus 0.4. And we multiply that by the second term, ln t plus one. And then we add to that the first term, 10 minus 0.4t times by the differential of the second term. So the differential of ln t plus one is one over t plus one. And we're gonna set that equal to zero because we want the maximum. I'm gonna add the 0.4 ln t plus one to both sides. And then just to simplify this a little bit, we're now gonna divide by 0.4 because we've got it on both sides. So 10 will divide by that nice and easily as well, which gives us ln t plus one is equal to 25 minus t all over t plus one. Then looking at what we're aiming for, we need to get any t that isn't within the log natural, we need to get that by itself. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by t plus one to get rid of that denominator, move that up. So we've got t plus one times ln t plus one is equal to 25 minus t. And if we expand the left-hand side, we can see we've got our t's in two places now. There's the one multiplying the ln in the first term, and there's the minus t on the other side. So to get these together, we're gonna to add t to both sides and subtract ln t plus one from both sides. So this line is just a rearranging of the one above it. If we now factorize that left-hand side, to take the t out, we now end up with our only t that isn't within the log natural, it's just one place now. So we've got t times by one plus ln t plus one is equal to 25 minus ln of t plus one. Dividing through by that bracket on the left, We've got 25 minus ln of t plus one all over one plus ln of t plus one. So we're getting quite close, but this isn't exactly what we're looking for. So comparing to what we're trying to get to, we need to get a 26 on top of the fraction. We've got a 25, but 25 is just 26 minus one. So if we change that into 26 minus one, but then move the one into a bracket with the ln, so instead of saying, 26 minus one minus ln t plus one. We've brought it together, so it's 26 minus brackets one plus ln t plus one. And we've done this because now that bracket, the second term on the top is the same as the denominator on the bottom. So splitting this fraction up, we would get 26 over one plus ln t plus one minus one plus ln t plus one over itself, which is the one that we need. And we can see that we've got the equation that we've been asked for. We now want to use the iteration formula t n plus one 
is equal to 26 over 1 plus ln tn plus 1 minus 1 with t1 equals 7. And we're going to use this to find the value of t3 to three decimal places. So we start off by finding t2. Remember that when we've got our n plus 1 and our n there, this means that the number with the t on the left is always one higher than the t that's on the right hand side of our equation. So we're told that t1 is equal to 7. So we're going to substitute that into the right hand side. Putting this into your calculator, you'll get an answer of 7.4430089323. We're now going to repeat the same thing, but we're going to put this 7.44, etc., into our iteration formula. So now we've got t3 is equal to our fraction, but we've our new t on the bottom. And again, putting this into the calculator gives us an answer of 7.297832771. But we need this to three decimal places. So we've got our 297, but the next digit is an eight. So we round it up to 7.298. And for C part two, we need to find by repeated iteration the time taken for the car to reach maximum speed. So at this point, I would save the answer from before as an answer in the calculator. So my 7.297832771. I would then type in my iteration formula, but replace TN with answer from the calculator. This way, each time you press equals, the previous answer is then going to come into your iteration formula. So you don't have to keep typing it in every time. So doing this on the calculator, we would get T4 is equal to 7.34404 and so on. Here's our T5, T6, I'm just pressing equals now and it's putting the each T into the formula until we get to a point where it's not looking like it's changing anymore. So we can see now we've got 7.332 and a slightly higher number for quite a few in a row now. And if we just keep pressing the equals over and over again, we'll see that it will round to 7.333 to three decimal places. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.